Hey guys, Mr. Backerberg here. In this video, we're going to look at the side length relationships in a 30-60-90 triangle. In the 30-60-90 triangle, the side length relationship looks like this. We let the short leg of our 30-60-90 triangle across from the smallest angle, across from that 30 degree angle. The short leg is going to be our x value this time. Then if we want to find the hypotenuse, what we're going to do is we're going to take 2 times x, and if we want to find the length of the longer leg, we're going to take x times the square root of 3. So let me write that out. So again, the hypotenuse is the short leg times 2, and the long leg is the short leg times the square root of 3. So in this example, we're given the shortest leg across from the 30 degree angle, and what we want to do is we want to find the lengths of the two missing sides. So I'm going to start by finding the length of the hypotenuse. If we have the short leg, then in order to find the hypotenuse, we multiply by 2. So if the short leg is 4, the hypotenuse is going to be 8, because we're just doubling it. If we have the short leg and we want to find the longer leg across from the 60 degree angle, then what we do is we take the length of the short leg times the square root of 3. So we get 4 root 3 as that missing longer leg of our triangle. In this example, we're given the length of the hypotenuse of this 30, 60, 90 triangle, and we want to find the length of the two legs. So if we're given the length of the hypotenuse and we want to find the length of the shorter leg, well, normally if we had the short leg and we wanted to get the hypotenuse, we would double it. We would multiply by 2. But we're going in the opposite direction this time. So instead of multiplying by 2, I'm going to take this hypotenuse length and divide it by 2 in order to get the short leg. So if we take 6 and divide it by 2, we get 3 then we can use that 3 to help us find the length of the longer leg. So we're going to take 3 times the square root of 3, and then we've got all the missing lengths of our triangle. In our last example, we're given the length of the long leg as 9, and what we're going to do first is we're going to find the length of the short leg before we find the length of the hypotenuse. So normally, if we had the short leg and we wanted to find the long leg, we would multiply by the square root of 3, but this time we're going in the opposite direction. So we're going to divide by the square root of 3. Now remember, we're not allowed to leave that radical on the bottom of the fraction, so we're going to rationalize this by multiplying top and bottom by root 3. So on top, we get 9 root 3. On bottom, if we take root 3 times root 3, that just gives us 3. And then we're going to look to reduce our fraction. 9 divided by 3 is 3, but then we still have that root 3 left over. So the length of the short leg is 3 root 3. Then if we want to find the length of the hypotenuse, we're going to take the short leg times 2. 2 times 3 is 6 root 3. So the length of the hypotenuse of this triangle is 6 root 3. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.